as uh, good morning everyone i was designated to be the substitute not of judas but of the moderator <laughs> yes uh did the grace can you read us please in the opening prayer Si, si Father Danny. Father Danny. Tita, tita, tita Grace can do. Tita Grace can do. No, no, don't worry. Yes, okay. yeah. oh, you, Come Holy you Spirit. Have to follow the, you have to follow the, ano, the, the MC. Okay. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful and grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, Tita, Tito Mani. Uh, yes, reading gospel, from please. the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory, to you, Lord. 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 That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He replied to him, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazareth was prophet, mighty indeed and work because before God and all the people, uh, priests and rulers, God handed him over to a sentence of death. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning, and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. When some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going far, going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it and gave it to them. <clears throat> with that, the eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. When they said to each other, were not our hearts burning with such within us when he spoke to us in the way of the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and, refer, and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven, and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them, the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.
to do be with you. Good morning. I sick it already. Sorry. Uh, I'm just following Father the the program that we do. Apa? If you are not around, I, I don't know if it is. Do we have to listen to the three pointers before the Father Danny gives? No, pa the Father Danny. And the, Father Danny. And blessing. Father, yeah, Father, Father Danny, Danny first. Huh? Thank you, Tito Lee. Father Danny, please. Yeah, yun ang maganda pag may MC na. So good morning and good evening. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Be his risen. Alleluia, alleluia. If you look at the gospel reading, this is the third Sunday of Easter. This is the gospel every Easter Wednesday during the octave. This is about the journey to Emmaus. And there are always two parts that are being placed here. One of a great bulk would be how the two disciples were going away from Jerusalem to Emmaus at seven miles with all their burdens, with all their pains, with all their frustrations, with all their hangovers perhaps of what had happened. And of course, along the way, Jesus walked with them. And it's so nice to look at that in that language. The burdens of the disciples, whom they have so much thinking about Jesus and for the people during that time, for him to become the liberator of the people of Israel. But you know what had happened when he was crucified. Things did not go according to their wishes, according to their expectations. And Jesus was crucified on the cross. You look and go back to the Eucharist celebration of Holy Thursday and the very reason why the Lord has instituted the sacrament of the Eucharist. This wonderful sacrament, of course, through the institution as well of the sacrament of priesthood. Because here, Jesus knows the very psychology of each one of us. Jesus knows what would happen to his people, even disciples. Realize that this is still days of him appearing to the disciples, they are all still afraid. But the reason of giving his body to us, his blood for us to drink, of course the body to be eaten so that we will never be hungry and the blood so that we will never be thirsty, is really a sign of his deepest love for us. He knows what would happen to us. He knows our predicament. He knows our emotional standing. He knows that we can be easily lost and be frustrated. That's why even if you look at that context, the sacrament of the Eucharist, where he is much present sacramentally, and now we experience is instituted. That would lead us to the second part, where in the Eucharist, we see him. Where in the Eucharist, the word is made flesh. And that we are praying as well during the Angelus. It is only in the Eucharist that the word is made flesh or becomes flesh for us to receive, to experience, and not only to feel the Lord, but above all, to be fed by him. Only in the experience of Jesus and for us receiving his broken body that we can truly meet the risen Christ. And this is the Eucharist that we are celebrating. The word of God, the Eucharist we are celebrating, where we receive the recent Lord that gives us strength in our journey, that removes our fears, as well as it continues to shed us the light so that the word must be experienced and it should lead us towards the sacrament. You realize even that we have our reflections, for example, every evening. But it should draw us closer to the Eucharist, to the sacrament, so that there is the fullness of our experience. Because the word of God is not a book of dead, but rather the word becomes alive and is proclaimed, especially in the Eucharist, that leads us to receive our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, if you go back to the first part, and the three pointers that were given by Tita Linda was so nice. Because in our despair, in our pain, 
in our struggle, when we go to the Eucharist, we are not only relieved, but above all, we are healed, given remedies to our own situation, because it is there that we are able to encounter Jesus, the risen one. He sits down with us. He breaks again his body and everything so that from our brokenness, we will be healed and therefore even become wounded healers. From our struggles and sorrows and darkness, we see in him the very light so that we will not be groping anymore, but rather we go out of the Eucharist or of the Mass, not only energized, but renewed by the love of God. That's why the Mass is never ending. Even if we say the Mass is ended, go in peace, it means for us to continue to proclaim that the Lord is risen, to meet people with desperation, to meet people with fears and anxieties, to meet people who are broken and allow them to see in us the great of the risen Lord. So the two disciples, they have recognized the Lord. We too, in our life, let us see that, especially in the great deepest, lowest moments of our life, the Lord comes and walks with us. At times we do not recognize, but the best way to recognize him is to go back to the Eucharist and then rediscover the greatness of his love and self-offering. So sabi natin, this is Sunday. It will be always a moment of shared reflection on how the word has touched you or what are your experiences for the week and what are the things you are grateful with. So Tito Ray. Yes, Father, thank you. <clears throat> uh, the Gospels uh, in our last week and uh, yes, even today, uh, speak about the assurance of God that uh, we should not be afraid because He is with us to protect us, to provide our needs. So my reflection is about those uh, promises of God. Do not be afraid because He is around, He is in our needs to protect us and to provide our needs. Uh, when I was still in the office, in the office, in the government office, there is a flag, flag ceremony every morning. And uh, the head of the office uh, delivers a message. And to my, so the day before that, the flag, that was a Sunday, I was told that uh, the chief of the office <clears throat> was a subject of a, a news report or a, a subject of a columnist in the newspaper that uh, the, the chief of the office is involved in some anomalies. And came Monday the, the, at the plague ceremony, I was surprised. I was accused in front of the office, the peep, employees of the office, that I am the informer of the journalist. I was gravely embarrassed, humiliated, and I prayed on what to do, what to do. I prayed one Hail Mary, and then I felt, I think it must be the Holy Spirit, push me push me to go to the stage and defend myself. After delivering my peace, I was taken aback. My office mates, office mates applauded me and their applause was louder than the applause they gave to the chief of the office. God promised that uh, we should not be afraid because there is a passage in the Bible that I can recall. God has lined up people who will help you. Is there such passage, Father Danny? 
I guess the help and the aid of people would be always there. Yes, Tito. Morris has similar on that line. Similar, yeah. Uh, God has lined up people who will protect you, so don't worry. And then, but be, uh, someone told me to make devotions. And there is this, uh, there's a new devotion in Batangas. The, uh, in, the, in the ocean, there was a discovered image of uh, the Virgin Mary. And the townspeople in that area are devoting, uh, praying to her. I, my, I invited my some of my office mates and my staff to go there, and we bought the image. And every day, almost every day, I invited my office staff because I have a staff uh, to uh, to pray the rosary. We asked for guidance. And uh, as days went on, somebody advised me to approach a classmate of the president, the president at that time, not the present president, the president at that time, to approach that classmate of the president. <clears throat> I took the courage to approach that classmate of the president. I uh, narrated the events, and uh, he promised to help me. Not long after, the chief of the office was replaced. God gave sufferings, but in sufferings, he sends, he can base, a message that suffering that I just narrated is one of the many sufferings that I have experienced. And there is a new one. That new one, that, that new suffering is the one that brought me back to the prayer group. And uh, this is my sharing God really is in our needs to protect us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tituri. Beautiful. That's God's walking with us, no? He comes here and walks with us through other people, instruments of that. Thank you, Tito. Thank you, Dean Father. Father, please don't forget your blessing. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more inspiration, no more sharing because this is our gratitude Sunday. Usually every Sunday is gratitude day. So, wala na. Oh, it, the it na tayo doon. <laughs> okay. So, we end with a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know what's deep in it. Us. You know, you know what is dependent us. Like what the two disciples have experienced. Like what like the two disciples, disciples, two disciples experienced. experienced. Our struggles and pains. Our struggles, our struggles and, pain. and pain. Our problems and difficulties. Our, our problems, problems and difficulties. Our sicknesses and grieving. Our, our sicknesses, sicknesses and grieving. grieving, even the accusations of other people, even the accusations of other people. But in this moment, so oh Lord, but in this moment, oh Lord, that you come close to us, that you come, that you come close to us, to us, and walks with us, and walks walk with, with us, explaining to us. Explaining to us that we can lean on the scriptures, that we can lean on the scriptures, and hold on to your words, not to be afraid, and hold on to your words, not to be afraid, and inspire our hearts, and inspire our hearts, leading us further. Leading us further to experience you in the Eucharist. 
Because it's in the Eucharist. Because in the Eucharist. Your word becomes flesh. Your word, your word becomes, becomes flesh. flesh. And that our brokenness is healed. And that, and that our brokenness is healed. Our fears are removed. Our, our fears, fears are removed. removed. Our darknesses become light. Our, our darkness darkness become light. 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 And our grieving becomes moment of resurrection. And our, and our, our grieving, grieving becomes a moment of resurrection. resurrection. Thank you, O Lord. Thank, Thank you, you, O Lord. Lord. You have never abandoned us. You have never, never abandoned, abandoned, abandoned us. us. You have always sent us people. You have you always, always, sent, are always people. sent us people. As your instruments. As your, as your instruments. To be with us and to defend us. To be, to be with, with us and to defend us. us. And us. Thank you for your mercy and providence, O Lord. Thank, Thank you for your mercy, you for your mercy yes, and yes, Lord. especially for this week. Especially, especially for, for this week. week. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Pray for, pray for us. Angel of God. My God, dear God's love, and dear Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, pray for, for us. For us. Saint Joseph. Pray, pray for, for us. For us. Send, O oh Lord. Holy oh, Apostles of the Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father and the Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good thank evening, you. all, and good morning. Good evening, and good morning. Father. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God bless you all. See you. See you, Father. God bless you. Bye. 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 We love you, Father. God bless. Bye bye. Why was, it, why was it difficult for all the disciples to recognize the risen Lord? They saw the cross as a defeat until the Lord appeared to them and gave them understanding. Number two, thus they remained downcast and their eyes were similarly blinded. However, Jesus gently freed them from their emotional turmoil and renewed their trust from their lack of faith. Number three, how often do we fail to recognize the Lord when he speaks to our hearts and through people and situations? The risen Lord is always trying to give us renewed hope for our daily living. Do we sense his presence and listen to him attentively? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Titaline. Welcome. Salamat po. Welcome. Um, po. I have to prepare to go to church. <laughs> Sige. Mag, mag closing prayer na lang tayo. Um, Miga Bilen. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Dear God, please give us strength when we are weak, love when we feel forsaken, courage when we are afraid, wisdom when we feel foolish, comfort when we are alone. We thank you for your goodness to us. We are now, now as we end this prayer meeting, keep us as the apple of your eye and in the shadow of your ways. Amen. 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 And all together, please. 
Glory be to the Father, Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and, and ever, ever shall be, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Thank you, Tito Reha. Very nice. And